You know, I'm gonna tell you what makes Ron Stallings tick. He came from a meager background. The people in his community, the teachers, the people in that community came together and provided Ron Stallings an opportunity to go to West Virginia University and, and get an education. They saw the brightness that he had. They saw the intellect that he had. And, and they knew that he didn't have an opportunity because of his family situation. So in turn, Ron went to the university, became a doctor. Where'd he go? He went right back to that community that loved him dearly and repaid them for everything that he did for, for him. And, and, and that says something about the quality of a guy who goes back to his community and tries to help his community to be healthier, to, to, to enjoy the things that they gave him. So, you know, Ron's gonna do the same thing for the state. He loves the state of West Virginia. He bleeds gold and blue, and, and he's gonna, he'd be an excellent governor. I think Ron has a lot of the qualities to be a good governor. He's a very intelligent, articulate guy who can bring people together in this sort of divisive time in politics. Ron's the kind of guy who can bring both sides together to make things happen. Well, I think Ron just interacts with a lot of people on a daily basis. So, I mean, people in all walks of life. So he understands the struggles and challenges that are facing people in the state. Um, he's on the front lines in dealing with the opioid crisis, so he understands you know, the challenges and issues uh, facing us in that regard too. So I think he's got a lot of uh, sort of, he's exposed to a lot of different kinds of people in West Virginia, so he understands the problems more so than, than a lot of people do.